welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to give an update for November. So I'm going to walk you through uh, everything that I have in bloom right now. And um, I'm going to talk about what's been going on. Um, you know, this month I've had a lot of uh, pests. So I've been dealing with a lot of spider mite issues. I've, it's been such a pain in the butt. I've been uh, using neem oil almost every day. I've also found some snails in two of my orchids, so that was a bummer. I had to repot two of them. I thought that by um, using hydrogen peroxide, I'd be okay, but it turned out during COVID, I couldn't find any hydrogen peroxide, so I had to use um, some hydrogen peroxide that I had that was expired by a year. I thought it was okay, but clearly it wasn't because um, those orchids had eggs and I, a couple of weeks ago, I just started discovering some snails, so I had to do some repotting, so that was a bummer. Weather in New York City has been phenomenal. Fall is finally here. Um, it's been, you know, last two weeks of October, it, it was cold, it was raining almost every day. Now it's 75 degrees, so after I do this video, I'm going to go out for a walk, I'm going to hit the park. It is just gorgeous today and it's going to be gorgeous for the next couple of days so I know that my orchids are going to be a little bit confused on what's going on but I have no doubt that come December everything's going to be looking much nicer well let me show you um, exactly what's going on so diving right in the first update here is the Oncidium gold dust number two so she is so beautiful she's got these pink pink flowers with yellow in the middle. She's completely open right now. I haven't counted all of the flowers, but I'll say that they're pretty fragrant. They smell a little bit like honey and they're beautiful. So this is one of the three Oncidium Twinkles that I got from Carmela Orchids. And so far the other two are in spike, but this one is so lovely and it's in full bloom now. I really, really like this one. So this is the Oncidium Gold Dust number two. Moving on, I'm really excited about this one. This is the Miltasia Dark Star Orchid Works. It's got three blooms. One of them is about to open probably today or tomorrow, but this one's really, really pretty. So there's no fragrance on this one, but it is just very stunning. It's like a pink, purple sort of mauve color and the big thing with this orchid is that it's supposed to look like Darth Vader. Can you see it? So this one is gorgeous. It's also growing a new growth at the very bottom. So let me see if I could find it. A new growth is peeking through. So this one's pretty new and then where the where is that other one? Oh it's right here. So this one should have some nice new blooms. Um, I did burn this orchid because I got it too close to the lights, but otherwise it's doing really well. And it's a very easy grower, such a beautiful flower. So that is the Miltasia Dark Star Orchid Works. This next one I'm really excited about because it's a first time bloomer for me. And this is the first time I bloom this orchid and from a seedling. So this is the Oncidium Sherry Baby Red Fantasy. And this one, it smells very similar to the Heaven Sent Sweet Baby. And I'm so happy this one bloomed because the Heaven Sent Sweet Baby is going out of bloom right now, but she smells delicious. She smells like chocolate. I can smell vanilla sometimes, but I love her. She's also growing a new bloom, rather a new pseudo bulb. So this is definitely, so since it's the first bloom, the first blooms are usually not very impressive, but I know future growths, will be and she grows like a weed she's already taken over the pot i have to water her every single day but i really really love this one moving on to my uh, miltonia kismet kind kai so i have this orchid here and i'm showing it to you guys because she's been growing a lot of new bulbs so all the way to the right you could see a new bulb there that's starting to mature i hope that one will lead to a flower spike in a couple of months there's one to the left of that new bulb. I initially thought that was going to be a flower spike. And if you look at the very, very bottom left, you could see a new growth starting. So she, this one is very thirsty all the time, really likes to drink up their water, but was a seedling. I got her with my Sherry Baby Red Fantasy, but 
hopefully in a couple of months we will see some blooms on her too. Now one that I'm really excited about is this Phalaenopsis that I transitioned into self-watering semi-hydral. So this is the Phalaenopsis stars Fiona. She already bloomed for the season, but look, she's got a flower spike and she's just pushing out so quickly. So I was talking to someone on Instagram about this because I was really surprised to see that bloom, to see that spike rather, and I was told that a lot of these fowls are imported, so they come from Thailand sometimes, or they come from different parts of the world. And when they hit our climate, they get confused and they bloom again. So this is the second time it's gonna bloom for me. Usually they bloom once a year, these kinds of complex hybrids, but really excited about it. So she lost the leaf already. She's gonna lose this leaf, but she finished out growing that leaf right there and started a new leaf. And the roots are starting to come in. So if you, as you can see, there's two roots coming in right there. In terms of the leka, I'm seeing some of the or some of the roots are molding a little bit and dying off, but some of them are peeking through. So that is a new a new root popping out. Um, this is a little mold that I'm seeing, but I'm just flushing through with water. Um, we'll see how it does. So far, it looks happy. Here's another root tip that's popping up. You can see right here. But so far, I'm happy with it. It looks like it's adapting just fine. Throwing out a spike, I must be doing something right. And then something over here, I wonder if that's going to be a second spike, this little bump over here or if it's gonna be another root. So we shall see, I'm really excited about it. Moving on to my self-watering Phalaenopsis. This one has grown a new leaf. It's maturing. It's So far it's really happy here. It's throwing out a new root. This orchid, I just, I always get questions about the self-watering pots. I don't fill it up with water just because it's too much in the winter right now. So I just make sure that this remains moist this one's doing really nicely. It has this new growth, pushing out some new roots from the side. You can see one right here as well. But I'm looking forward to seeing this one grow. It'll probably take forever for it to mature. Now, I'm excited about this one. So this is my cat Leia. It's a pre quite a complex hybrid. Um, it is the, this is the name of it, cat Leia Oceone Sunset Sail crossed with Catlea Love Sound cross with Catlea Pachi Pachi. So it's quite complex. Um, but I repotted this. This was a, a division that I got. And my cat knocked it down, so I actually had to repot it. This, this root died off, unfortunately, but the other roots are growing into the medium. And I'm starting to see some good positive change. So this one, if you could see, it's growing right through the uh, water wick. Isn't that insane? Like it is literally, the root has protruded right through the wick and is continuing to grow. And then what I was most excited about with this orchid is that it's starting to branch out. The roots are, are adapting really nicely. So all of the roots, when I repotted this, I just kept all of the new roots that were still green. So this is adapting really well. I think it'll continue to grow. It's got a couple of eyes over here, so we should probably see a new growth coming soon, but this one is adapting really nicely to semi-hydro. Another orchid that's adapting quite nicely is this, um, this Cattleya, it's the Brassolalia Cattleya King George crossed with Waine King Koseku. And this one, the update here, is that it's got new growths. So there's a new growth coming in right here. And then there was another growth coming in right here. It's a little hard to see because it's still small, but it's right there. And then I, the roots are just going down. It's really liking the setup. It's adapting really well. Roots are branching out. Let me see if I could get you a better view. So this one's doing really, really, really well. Couple more updates. So this one, I wanted to show you the Phalaenopsis hieroglyphica. So this one has a bunch of flower spikes. So we have one right here that continues to grow. 
we have one over here and another one here and then I noticed another spike coming up right in here and the roots are also coming in really nicely so you can see they're throwing down it's really adapting well to this setup so hopefully we'll see some blooms for this very soon next update this one's a little bit i'm confused about it so i have this in under my lights and they've been turning purple but yesterday i noticed that the purple has turned into burns or some sort of fungal infection so i noticed these two black spots the lights that i have this under aren't very strong um, but it seems like it's not adapting so well to it so i moved it further away from the lights i'm hoping it's not some sort of fungal infection otherwise it's adapting really well to semi hydroponics it's got new growths that are going right into the uh right into the leka um, a lot of the roots haven't pushed through just yet it's been about a month so i'm not seeing anything just go in just yet but a lot of it is starting to pop out Next update is the Neophenicia falcata. So this one is very similar to the last orchid in that it's turning very purple. So as you can see, I think it's getting too much light under my LED lights. So it is turning purple. Here's a good example. So I'm keeping it further away. What I do like about this orchid is that it's also growing new root tips down into the medium, as you could see right here. And I'm starting to notice a couple of fans growing out. So here's one right here. You can sort of see that. So that should be a new fan. And then I noticed another one. I'm not finding it right now, but it definitely continues to grow. And the last update that I have for you guys is my water culture vanda so i've got this orchid it's been watered i got rid of the dead roots but so far the new roots are still growing in i've been soaking it more often and the new roots are definitely hydrating this orchid because they're no longer wrinkly last month they were a little wrinkled but i think it was because those old roots weren't hydrating the orchid so my catacetum continues to grow roots. I see a lot of new roots popping out, but it's definitely going dormant very soon just because it's gonna lose leaves. The blooms that it had on, um, this one's the Monurara Millennium Magic Witchcraft. The blooms that it had, they fell off about three weeks into the bloom cycle, but I expect this one to go dormant soon. The next update I've got is my Dendrobium Buttercup. I've been really worried about this one just because ever since I repotted it, it's been having this these spots. Can you see? Like it, it's got little spots here on the old growths, but my biggest concern is the new growths. So when a new growth comes in, it tends to have this little fungus and it's falling off and it's very frustrating. So Initially, when I first started seeing these form, I would cut the leaf off, but it seems like it doesn't matter because it keeps happening and the leaves fall off on their own. I think it's damping off fungus. Uh, but if anybody knows, definitely let me know. This one is growing roots down into the root system. It is, um, it is establishing in the pot. I'm starting to see more and more um, roots coming out. Um, but it really worries me that these these new growths look a little sick so if anybody knows anything about this just let me know I really really want to make sure I take care of this one I love the blooms I actually have two more updates so I have the Oncidium Hilo Firecracker New Year here still in bloom but I'm actually gonna cut this spike off because I've stressed this orchid enough it's time for it to have a little bit of a rest um, but this one has been in bloom since, wow, August. It's been blooming. It's had four spikes, and I really love it. Now, the Miltoniopsis Lila, Lila Farney, who has been doing really well now that it's cooled down, I noticed that it's starting to grow some new roots. Let me find them for you. I know the light is not ideal right now. 
but it is pushing out some new roots so that is a great sign and it, I think it's just going to take the, the uh, fall and winter to recover from the hot temperatures. And then the last update I've got for you guys is my Oncidium Heaven Scent Sweet Baby. So she's finally fading. These blooms lasted about a month on each spike and I think I'm going to repot her. I think she needs a new pot because they tend to get very pot bound. Um, but I'm going to repot her very soon, but she is almost um, completely out of bloom, but I've really enjoyed this one. Well, that's it. Well, thank you guys for stopping by. If you guys like this video, give it a like. If you like the content, do subscribe. I do post every Wednesday and Saturday, so I post quite regularly. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching the video, and I'll catch you guys soon. Bye.